If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 17 video. Guys, today what we have is the top 10 offensive linemen for Madden 17, at least heading into the season. This is going to be kind of their attribute breakdown. And guys, what we're going to be looking at again is not their ultimate team card rating. So if I slip up and say card, that's just me being used to talking about Mutt. But these attributes are actually going to be the base attributes that the players have going into, let's say, franchise mode or head-to-head -head games, things like that. Uh, so keep in mind, again, these are not their Mutt cards. It very well might translate that these are the top 10 offensive linemen in Mutt as well. But we don't necessarily know that for certain, so we're not going to go ahead and say that. So with that being said, guys, what we're going to do again is count down the top 10 offensive linemen for Madden 17. To start it off, we have a Green Bay Packers offensive lineman, long hair, don't care, Josh Sitton. Guys, this guy is an absolute beast on the field. Big time pass blocker from an interior lineman, 96 pass blocking, great impact blocking at an 84, nice strength at a 91 as well. Solid still as a run blocker at 88, and then he also has 60 agility. Then, guys, at number nine, we have a teammate of Josh Sitton's. This is actually going to be TJ Lang. Plays on the opposite side, right guard, as opposed to Josh Sitton on the left side, left guard. So, TJ Lang, very similar to Josh Sitton in a lot of ways, but he's a little bit more balanced. We're going to see uh, still a higher pass block than a run block out of him at a 94 and a 91. But he's quite a bit more balanced, I guess I would say, because his pass block isn't quite as good and his run block isn't quite as low. Impact block, they're about the same in 83. Josh Sitton was in 84. Agility, again, about the same. He is a little bit lower on the strength scale, though. He is only an 86 strength. Josh Sitton was in 91. So, again, these guys are very comparable. I guess I would actually probably give the slight edge to Josh Sitton as far as what we see in these attributes. But, again, these guys are going to be a really great duo if you're looking for a good interior offensive lineman to run that rock up the middle this season. Moving on to number eight, and we're finally going to see a different team here, and it is the Dallas Cowboys. Travis Frederick, the center for the Cowboys, 91 overall, still a really young player. Um, definitely a good player as well. This guy is a little bit more based on the run blocking attributes versus the pass blocking like we've seen with the Packers guys. So he is a 96 run block, an 86 for a pass block, somewhat low on the pass block. You have to, you have to admit that. I mean, that's just the way that it is. But he does make up for it in impact blocking at a 99. He is maxed out at impact block. That is crazy. And he also has a 90 for strength, 59 for agility, but definitely, definitely one of the best offensive linemen in this game and the only center that we're going to see on this entire list. Moving on now to number seven, we've got Taron Armstead of the New Orleans Saints. First left tackle to make it into the top 10 here, 92 overall. And he is a really good card overall. Another very balanced offensive lineman. If you look at the pass blocking and run blocking, 95 pass block, 93 run block, 88 for an impact block. And he also has 75 agility. So he's a guy that's going to be pretty quick as well. Uh, we did say, it does say in here as well that he does have an 80 for a speed, which makes him one of the fastest offensive linemen in Madden to start the season. So definitely a nice set of attributes there. Now, one of the things that I'm a little bit concerned about when I see Taron Armstead is an 83 for strength. That's not good. I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever, but it's definitely not what you would expect out of an elite offensive lineman. So we'll definitely have to see how much strength affects things in Madden 17. We really don't have any barometer on that yet. Moving on to number six, we've got Trent Williams of the Washington Redskins, 92 overall, second left tackle to check in here at 92 overall, and Trent Williams is another really just balanced offensive lineman. I think he's pretty much good at just about everything. The one thing that he's a little bit low at that I would be a little concerned about is that he is only an 88 for run block. Now, again, that's not a bad attribute by any means. It's just not quite as high as some of the other guys that we're going to see kind of more towards the top of this list so we've got an 88 again for run block 95 pass block that is money 83 for an impact block 71 agility and then a 92 strength so he is definitely a very very balanced player and uh, again he makes up for kind of his lower run block with a really high strength attribute and the other thing that they noted here is that he does also have 75 speed and 81 acceleration so 
I mean, that, that could definitely be helpful for some teams as they're trying to move their offensive linemen down the field to pick up those blocks on sweeps and things like that. At number five, we have Zach Martin of the Dallas Cowboys, second Dallas Cowboys offensive lineman to break into the top 10. And Zach Martin is a monster, man. 95 pass block, 92 run block, very, very balanced there. 89 strength. Not quite as much as I would hope for out of an interior offensive lineman. He is a right guard. Typically, I want my offensive lineman on the inside to be a little bit higher for strength, but it's not bad. And then an 84 for an impact block, 65 for agility. Really, what Zach Martin brings to the table is elite pass blocking from the interior of the offensive line with still great run blocking. I mean, that's that's kind of his thing. And he is a, an absolute monster. Definitely looking forward to using my Dallas Cowboys and giving Tony Romo plenty of time to throw in the pocket. Now on to number four, and we're getting a guy here who I think kind of gets underrated when people are naming off the best offensive linemen in the league. But it's good to see that EA and Madden actually gave him good ratings here to start the season. And that's Andrew Whitworth of the Cincinnati Bengals, left tackle. Great, great offensive lineman here, man. 94 run blocking, 95 pass blocking. So he's even a little bit better than what we saw to Zach Martin. Now, obviously, they play different positions. But the nice thing about Andrew Whitworth is that he's really good in all three of the major things that we look at for offensive linemen. I've been talking about this since Madden 25. The most important three attributes for offensive linemen in this game are pass block, run block, and strength. And he's 93 or above in all three of those attributes, making him definitely one of the best offensive linemen in this game. And it's nice to see him again getting some credit here, checking in at number four. At number three, we have Marshall Yonda, the best right guard in the game, 97 overall. This is a huge jump from number four overall, Andrew Whitworth, to number three overall, Marshall Yonda. Again, a big, big jump, four overall upgrade here from four to three and Marshall Yonda deserves it man I mean he's definitely been one of the best offensive linemen over the past three four five I don't even know how many seasons I mean he's been a beast since he came into the league to be completely honest with you and if you look at these attributes again we're talking about the top three attributes run block pass block strength and he is an absolute monster at all of those 98 run block 96 pass block 86 for a pat or for an impact block excuse me and a 67 for agility not really anything special there but that 93 strength is also going to make him an absolute monster so definitely good to see Marshall Yonda getting some respect then we move on now to number two and we're going to see Tyron Smith 98 run block 97 pass block 93 impact block he is a little bit low on the strength scale again with only an 88 but he is also an upgraded there on agility and impact block over Marshall Yonda so kind of depends on what you're looking for my personal opinion is I would actually probably prefer to have Marshall Yonda over Tyron Smith as far as their attributes go but I want to let you I want to have you guys comment in the comment section below let me know which one of those two guys you would rather have on your offensive line or would you rather have the number one guy that is Joe Thomas. Now, Joe Thomas is an interesting one here because if you take a look at his attributes, 98 for a pass block, again, elite, 93 for a run block, again, very, very good, 93 strength as well, but where is he really that much better than Marshall Yonda? I mean, I'm not really understanding. He's five lower in run blocking. He's only one higher in pass blocking, and their strength is exactly the same. So I, I think it's a little bit weird that Joe Thomas is ranked as the number one guy. But if you look at his impact block, he is a 93 there and his agility is a 73. So he is seven higher in each of those attributes over Marshall Yonda. But to me, again, I would personally rather have Marshall Yonda. I think he's the best left tackle in the game as, from the attributes that I've seen and what I've seen work in the past three Madden games. So I want to hear from you guys. Which one of these offensive linemen are you most excited about? Which one would you choose if you could choose any of them for your Madden team to start the season? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. And also let me know if anybody was snubbed out of this top 10. Should anybody be on here that isn't on here? And if there is somebody that should be on here, you got to let me know who gets bumped off which one of these guys in the top 10 doesn't deserve it so that your guy can move into the top 10 let me know in the comment section below guys thanks so much hope you learned something if you did be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will talk to you guys again soon